Hey there, in this Synfig Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an animated bouncing ball. And we're going to have a look at uh, making that using keyframes and a time loop. First thing we want to do is select our circle tool to create our ball. Come over to the tool options and make sure that the proper options are selected. To make a flexible ball that will squish some, we don't want to use circle layer. Instead, we want to use a region B line when creating the circle. Here are the rest of the options I have selected. Once you have that, go ahead and draw your circle. Drag and let go. Now for most of our animation, we're going to be editing in animate mode. So go ahead and turn that on. Let's get the transform tool so we can move our circle around to where we need it. Just move it a little bit. This will create our initial spot for our ball. Come down to the keyframes tab and create a keyframe for zero seconds, frame zero. Keyframes are used for duplicating the positions of objects at one frame on the timeline to another frame on the timeline. Right now we're just going to create three keyframes. Let's go to nine frames in. Now let's drop our ball down and using the shift key you can make it follow a straight path. I'm going to use this line right here as the sort of floor for my ball. So I want to put the ball on top of that floor. And now create a new keyframe. Now I have a keyframe at 0 and a keyframe at 9. Go to frame 11. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can do a little bit of adjustments on my ball. I want to drag my ball down a little bit using the shift key, drag it in a straight line. Then I want to squish it up from the bottom and squish it down from the top a little bit. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit on the sides also. Create a new keyframe at 11 frames in. Okay, now go one second into the animation. Select the frame at zero seconds, z frame zero, and make our first duplicate. Okay, now zoom to fit the canvas so we can see where that ball went to. And now it should be back up at the top of our canvas. Let's go to one second and nine frames in and make a duplicate of the zero second nine frame keyframe. Let's do this one more time at one second eleven frames. Duplicate the zero second eleven frame. You should see that it's squished again now. Let's finish by duplicating the first frame one last time at two seconds in. Go to two seconds. Then choose the first keyframe and duplicate it Let's go ahead and see a preview of our animation before adding a time loop. Select the arrow, file, preview. The default settings here will normally be fine. Click preview. Let's click on a loop here so we can see this loop. And we can see that our ball bounces twice and then stops in the air. Okay, let's close that out and add our time loop. Adding a time loop will make our ball continue bouncing indefinitely. Come over to the layers. Select the top layer and right click on it. Go to new layer. Other. Time loop. Now you should see a time loop at the top of your layers. If it is not at the top, you can move layers around using these arrow keys here. We don't want the time loop to change as the animation goes through. We want it to just stay the same way for the whole animation. So we're going to turn animating mode off. Come over to our object parameters. And you can see the parameters for the time loop here. The duration of the time loop is one second. This is the amount of time that will be between each loop. Since the ball will be bouncing from top to bottom every one second, the default setting works fine for us, 1S. Link time and local time generally tell us when to begin looping. See the Simfig website for more information on these. 
But for this project here, we're going to set them both 0 seconds, frame 11. Now let's preview our bouncing ball to make sure it worked right. For this final preview, I'm going to change the frames per second to 24 for better clarity. Click on preview. Play it while looping. And there you have your animated bouncing ball. Thanks for watching penguintutorials.com.